Collective, welcome back. Um, we're going to do an impromptu reading here. See what the energy is like, what's going on. It's a little dark in here because it's about to pour. So if you hear thunder and rain, just know it's just raining out there. Can't do nothing about that. All right. Welcome aboard, guys. Hope your week is going doing great. All right. Let's see what we got for you. I'm hearing one more. Okay. Welcome to all my subscribers and new subscribers, by the way. And if you haven't subscribed, I welcome you. You are welcomed here. If this resonates for you, okay. Keeping in mind, of course, that these are general. They won't resonate for everyone. So if you find yourself confused, do not make it fit. It might not be your story. Okay. Um, but if it resonates for you, please give it a like. Hit that thumbs up for me. So let's do this. Hidden love. Mutual attraction and unspoken feelings due to other circumstances. Okay, so a love felt or brewing but not expressed just yet. Somebody could be in a situation, a relationship, and it's, this could be why, or there could be distance, or somebody is trying to approach carefully. Okay. They find you enchanting, collective, or you find someone enchanting. Take the messages as to resonate for you. You can flip it as it works, you know, as it resonates for you, okay? Captivating, exotic, beautiful, and hard to resist. More than meets the eye. Often misunderstood. So for someone here, they're often misunderstood. Uh, they're attractive. It's giving me the Queen of Wands energy. This could be someone very ambitious. Again, you are this person. Um, this could be someone that kind of stands on their own. They also, because they're often misunderstood. So I'm getting this person has a very different vibe, a different energy. They are maybe a little bit of a loner. Uh, they could be very selective with their relationships of all kinds. Family, friends, and love. Love partners. Okay. So this could be someone where people often think that they can just get in and get out. But this person is very confident, okay, though this could be you, with enchanting. You have a, a mystery, an allure, and it does captivate both good and bad. I feel like you get hit on a lot by low vibrational energies, male or female. Um, but someone here does not want to approach you in that way because they may be picking up that, yes, you do get, a, they know that you get approached. So their approach is going to be very different than most. Okay. This person definitely wants to get up close and personal with you. Okay. You have a, a sultriness, a subtlety about you. But yet, your aura is, it's just, it's captivating. It really is. You have a very strong presence as well as what I'm getting here. You can have a lot of um, presence in your eyes. Some of you could have dark hair. Some of you could be Latin or just you have an exotic look. You could be very mixed as well. But what makes you unique, I really feel overall, is like your true essence of, of who you are. Um, it's rare. You are rare. It, it's almost like some of you may have beauty, brains, and um, it, it's just something about you so present. Um, a lot of people may feel intimidated by you. Even people that aren't love, you know, love relationships or love interest. Um, but that's not your fault. That's that's what they're perceiving, getting off of you. I feel like you have a strong sense of boundaries as well. Whether you're beautiful or handsome, okay. 
some of you dress to impress, like, but it's, it's almost like you don't have to really, it's like effortless beauty for some of you, so if you put on a little makeup and a nice dress, or you put on, you know, a nice shirt and some nice pants, and you just kind of brush your hair, just, it, it just kind of, everything just kind of falls right, you don't have to do much because it's your, I don't know, it's, it's your presence, your energy. It's very well put together. And I feel somebody here has genuine attraction feelings that are brewing when it comes to you. But they don't want to mess this up. They want to approach you in, in the right way. I just feel like this person knows that you get hit on a lot. Okay, some of you are single and you've been single for a while. And you could have had a glow up. And you're looking damn good. For some of you, you work out. Wow, I'm getting a lot of information here. <laughs> but you're a mystery to this whoever this person is here. They want to know more. That's for sure. They have been captivated. Some of you, they're, they're captivated by your beauty, your essence, your presence. Um, it's something about the way you carry yourself. You're not like the rest. It's like you're you're in the back there somewhere with your mystery and your allure and your presence. But a lot of people may be intimidated to go up to you. It's like if you were at the party, like you come in, everybody looks because your presence walks in before you do. Um, and you may find yourself standing there alone for a little while. It's something that emanates from you. And you know, every now and then, you, so people might take a little bit. They may need a little liquid courage <laughs> to come up to you, okay? Um, it just depends on the person. You may meet sometimes, though, someone that is not, you know, they're not, they don't want to misjudge you, so they come up to you and they, um, right away, they're friendly, they talk to you and, um, you may also get the needy types that want to be around your energy. So it may be hard for you to find someone that fits right for you. I feel like so many people have the wrong idea of you in so many different ways. Let's see what else we have. And some of them are just like, yeah, that'll never happen. <laughs> Right away they tell themselves, yeah, I'm not even going to go there. That's never going to happen. Um, so they like shoot themselves down before they even try. Purification. Look at, I was going to say this. <laughs> you went through a glow up and you could be celibate at this time. That is what is increasing your allure. Okay. It says purification. A time for um Cleansing your your space, mind, body, and soul. A period of celibacy. No wonder. Yeah. I was going to say that here. Because you look like somebody that's been going through something here with this quietness. I'm just, male or female. Like, you're just sitting there looking all good. You've done a lot of inner work. And something, your presence is mysterious as all get. And, yeah. Yeah. A period of celibacy and purification so you may have the occasional cocktail that I don't feel like you drink um, much and some of you not even at all um, Wow yeah that's what it is if you ever notice a, a, a man as well when they are celibate and they're going through like that period of like semen retention I don't know what it is but their energy is it, it's it's just like it's there's a there's like a, a, a high a level uh, like a more level of attraction to that person because they're not out being toxic and and you know getting involved in these incubus succubus situations so their energy is pure it's clean it's it's it, it, you know, it's like a fresh glass of water or something. You can you can just sense the energy. 
yeah I'm hearing fresh dress like a million bucks <laughs> okay let's see what else here prosperity looking like uh, I can't make this up looking like a million bucks out here success is a part of your purpose you are aligning with what's rightfully yours collect this you're aligning to what's rightfully yours through purification through your glow up through loving yourself self-worth self-love you may have a crush on someone here whatever it is or two people are crushing on each other here something is aligning and you are you could be in your purpose or you're aligning to your purpose like you have been working in silence is what I'm picking up okay and you are aligning to it mind body soul spirit and heart you're very special and you know it you know your worth activation spirit has led you to this catalytic point feeling enthusiastic energized and confident two people that are being activated spirit is um, aligning you with someone and and aligning someone with you okay this could be an old soul you could be an ancient soul this could be someone you knew if you um, resonate with Egyptian times a familiar face secret admirer I may not have said anything yet but I find you irresistible I love the way you carry yourself so someone is picking up what you're putting down they're very attracted to you but they don't they don't want to mess this up this is definitely somebody aligning with you and again you could be aligning to someone that you admire you're admiring each other is what I'm getting look at that new love with purification two people going through the same type of purpose and ascension here so you guys may have a purpose together okay this was definitely meant to be it's aligning due to spirit here align and and through your inner work okay magnetically drawn to each other lots of intrigue and fascination trustworthy wow in a period of celibacy so both of you have been going through a period of celibacy and ascension being activated so this is this has been um, somebody you have been either admiring each other for some time or someone here has been admiring you or vice versa for some time and they are going through you know you both went through your own like individual um, awakening healing glow up and a period of celibacy and purification so when you guys come together wow this is gonna be really nice your, en your energy is just aligning just right here look at that romantic love I hope you like being spoiled I pay attention to the little things ah look at this love and prosperity Bastet is working with you guys okay an Egyptian goddess goddess of fertility good fortune good health pleasure protection and justice look at that good fortune good health definitely um, through purifying your energy of toxicity with prosperity look at this look at this bread my goodness and it just started raining purification I love it when it rains because it's it just gives me that sense of pur purification Wow collective let's get some tarot on this Hidden love, new love, romantic love, secret admirer with activation. You guys are feeling each other on a deep level, spiritual level here through this activation.
person could rock a beard. I see, I see like a five o'clock shadow here, a beard here, a beard to here. It could be you or them. Um, sometimes maybe they they go clean shaven. Somebody can have salt and pepper hair, blonde hair, black or like um, dirty blonde or like a light brown. You could have platinum blonde or, or uh, like you dye your hair like, you know, that white gray or dark hair. Also see blonde hair. Something about blue. Somebody could have blue eyes here. Definitely, you could be a very passionate person, also. Somebody here may be very loving, too. Whoever this is, I feel is going to, like their heart is opening up, it's been activated. You, you spark romance in this person. This person's gonna spoil you and romance you. This person feels so genuine. Beautiful. Nine of Swords. They can't sleep thinking about you with hidden love. And yeah, they could definitely could be going through something here. Unspoken feelings due to other circumstances. Okay, so they may be trying to get something together here. Or they're just going through the activation right now. The Empress. No wonder. There it is. Secret admire. Somebody sees you as a future wife or husband. Or you're watching somebody that you see as a future wife. The Empress. I mean, you embody all qualities that someone would love in a partner is what I'm getting here whether you're male or female page of cups it could be a crush but this is definitely new love new beginnings Pisces fives or somebody here could have Pisces in their in their moon or um, their rising Three of Wands, a little bit of distance. Yeah, there's something here about past, present, and future. I feel like you've, you've had lifetimes with this person, and you will continue to have a lifetime, other lifetimes with this person. Somebody could be having a past life regression about you. Yeah, the Hierophant. Somebody could be in a relationship is what I'm getting here. Or someone is, um, they could be working with a mentor as well through this activation. Taurus vibes. Let's see what else. We also have Libra Taurus. Yeah. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you definitely have a, a soul contract with this person. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Someone feels like you're very creative also, or they love... There's something about you that is... Maybe you're creative with your style, or you're creative, like you do stuff that's creative, and maybe you post about it. But I definitely see some sort of soul contract here. The Hangman. Yeah, somebody's definitely going through a period of purification, enlightenment. Okay. Suspended for a time. Okay, with whatever's going on here. Um, they could be learning, being activated, going to a mentor is what I'm getting. Eight of Wands. Let me backtrack here. You know what I was getting here? Somebody may have been asking someone here that could be a mentor of theirs how to approach someone like you. Okay? And somebody, of course, if they're a mentor, like a spiritual mentor, they're like, oh, you, you're going to have to be an emperor to come get this empress. Okay? 
um, there are things that this person has been going through and understanding. You could have even been an inspiration for this person to kind of dig deeper and look at themselves in the mirror. And they could have, um, you know, and between that and a mentor they're with, it's been helping them see things from a higher perspective and go through this activation, this awakening. This person may be meant to be some sort of leader. They could be for some of you already with activation here. So they could be a mentor themselves. They're supposed to be in some sort of leadership position is what I'm getting. Or they are already. So Eight of Wands, communication coming in with the Three of Wands. This could also be travel. Somebody wanting to travel to see you. Okay, and I feel they're going to come to you when all this, when they're enlightened. And they, they got it. You know what I mean? Like... Because something is being activated here. Like I'm getting, okay, we're in the hangman and then we're upright. Right? With the light around the crown chakra. So there may be something that this person is still um, getting clarity on. Strength. Yeah, this person was definitely meant to be a leader. They want to be your protector. This is this person is meant to be your protector as well. Leo vibes. Wow, beautiful energy. The magician. Yeah, manifesting a soul contract. Okay, definitely this person wants to manifest you. This person could be very creative themselves. They could see you as the magician. Okay, this person before their awakening, I don't know when, if they happen before yours or if, if it's been happening simultaneously while you're, you know, living your individual lives. Um, they could see you as a magician or they, they, they could be the ones that are, are the magician, learning how to use their tools to manifest you. Or they're watching you as someone that is, is you can manifest anything you want. Okay. You're manifesting each other. Either way, look, the chariot. Yeah. So, a moment of suspense, but there will be forward movement, fast forward movement, and victory here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and if there is a relationship that someone is in, it's a matter of growth and seeing themselves and connections that they get into from a higher perspective as they go through this um, ascension learning and activation the moon this could be night travel this could be astral travel is what I'm getting here so this is somebody here where there is astral travel but there will be physical travel with the chariot the moon the magician and the strength card here Somebody may also be working on their confidence so that they can come to you, um, you know, correctly. Because I do feel like someone may be feeling a little bit, um, I don't want to use the word intimidated, but um, what's the right word? I don't want to say apprehensive either, even though I sense, you know, both of those things. A little bit or they could have been like that for a while it, it, it they just I know they want to come correct but there's something that is like they need that extra oomph you know that little extra confidence boost um so they're not like tripping all over themselves when they're in, in your presence. Okay, that's what I'm getting. And what's crazy is this person, I don't feel they're typically this nervous. But they see you as like, 
like the one, okay? You just, you embody all the qualities that they would want in someone. Bottom of the deck, yeah. Queen of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. Okay, with prosperity, success is part of your purpose. You are aligning with what's rightfully yours. With the Knight of Swords, um, quicker than you think. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Okay, you are the Empress, so you're embodying all these energies. The Sun. Yeah, it's a new day. Something is fast approaching. Three of Cups, good times, celebrations. Queen of Swords. King of Wands. Yeah, like I said, you embody the wisdom, the wit, okay, you, you, you make this person, like, their, your energy is very vibrant, youthful, okay, um, you're very compassionate, intuitive, loving, nurturing, you're also a little unpredictable is what they're seeing, but you are fine as wine, <laughs> male or female, like, this king of wands is like, yeah, watching all these qualities you embody, and that turns them on. Yeah, the Emperor. Okay. And if you're the Emperor, you're embodying, you you are healing your feminine energy big time. Like, you are in tune with it. You're in balance. So that's awesome. And that is definitely a quality an Empress would admire. Look at this. Ten of Cups and the Emperor. This is your person for sure. Yeah, the Emperor, King of Wands. See, this person is typically not someone that gets nervous. This is going to be a provider, a protector. Okay, they are a charmer. The lovers. Oh, look at that. They could be an earth angel. Oh, yeah. Balance. Patient. They're patient. They're balanced. They're an alchemist. They're an earth angel. Temperance. God sending you an angel. Send me an angel. Send me an angel. Right now. Six of Swords. Yeah. Ace of Wands. Look, this person is coming towards you. Oh, man. Page of Pentacles. Okay. They want to message you before you have any opportunity to walk away. Two of Cups. Remember, this is hidden love. So they haven't said anything. Wow, Collective. This is a surprising reading. But it's so beautiful. Alright, let's get some messages here. Let's see what else. Scorpio Pisces Cancer, Cancer Vibes here, Sagittarius, Pisces, Leo, Taurus, Libra, one more shuffle. Yeah, I feel like you guys have definitely been dreaming about each other. Definitely there's some sort of past life regression here with the moon and the three of wands with these faces. Past, present, and future. Twin flame. This person is your mirror soul. This is why this connection feels so sacred to you. So somebody's seeing you as their twin. Okay, so this could be your twin with hidden love here. Make the effort. This love is worth taking a risk. You are called to move forward. Okay. Now, for some of you, yes, it could be a twin. For others of you, they may think you're their twin. You could be, they could be a high-level soulmate. So either way, you're a divine feminine and they're a divine masculine. Okay, so take that how it resonates. Forgive and release. You are stronger when you carry love, forgiveness, rather than anger. And this is something that, you know, like I said, they're looking at the man in the mirror. 
So they're going through their own changes, Dark Knight of the Soul. The Hangman is also can be looked at as the metamorphosis stage. Okay. So they're looking at their own shadow is what I'm getting here. So that they don't bring this aspect into the connection. You know, understanding your shadow and your qualities that are not, you know, your best qualities is very important to any connection that you make in life. That way, instead of getting, you know, defensive or or acting like the victim, you kind of check yourself before it affects the connections that you make with others. If everybody did that, boy, we would all get along so much better. Open yourself to others. This is how you will create new friendships and attract a love relationship. There are some fears here with the moon about opening up. But I do see communication coming in and possible travel here. So they are definitely a little nervous, you know. Of course, especially when it comes to meeting the love of their life here. And especially so if it's a twin. Um, inner balance must definitely be there for this to um, work. All right, let's get another one. Nothing has gone wrong. Trust the process. This connection is divinely timed. Okay. All right. Engagement. Your love life is soon ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay, so please don't get in the comments about your twin or your fake twin or false twin saying, Oh, I'm never taking... This is not that kind of connection. Clearly, that's it, this is not about um, somebody that stabbed you in the back and fucked up and all of that. No, this is, this is different. Whoever's twin this is, this is totally different. This is good energy. This is somebody doing the work. Two people doing the work here. And again... You could feel like they're your twin, or they could feel like you're their twin, but it could just be a high-level soulmate instead of a twin, which is still great, okay? Um, so for some of you, it's a twin. For some of you, it's a high-level soulmate. So you take that how it resonates. All right, let's see what else. Be optimistic. Keep in mind that you create your reality. You can't attract love with a negative mindset. Yeah, exactly. So somebody here is definitely seeing things from a higher perspective, opening up their mind. And I mean, that's what the twin flame journey does, too, is really break down these um, limited beliefs and conditioning that have been, you know, embedded within you through family, through, you know, through your lifetime, throughout your lifetime. Because this, def this connection defies logic. It's a divine connection. It's a high vibrational connection. And it cannot be explored if two people don't believe in anything else other than what they they know. Um, to this day, you got to expand your consciousness, your mindset. And the only way to really do that is to go through your shadow work, go within, go through your awakening, opening the, you know, the third eye, which is not an eye in your forehead. It is a pineal gland within the mist of your brain, okay? Believe it or not, I had a dream about somebody arguing with me. And I don't believe in no third eye. Nobody has a third eye. And I'm like, you know, you're entitled to believe what you want. But, like, there are other answers out there. There are other information out there. If you just automatically close yourself off to anything outside of what you know then you never evolve. You never find out what what possibilities are out there. And if you're not in an awakened state, you can't comment on something that somebody's, you know, you can't say that somebody else's experience is false or non-existent when they are awakened. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm arguing with this person in the dream, like, what the fuck? Why, why is this person here? <laughs> you want to be close-minded, that's fine. But don't don't tell me what to believe in, you know? I'm like, well, you have to be awakened to understand the perspective of someone that is awakened. And unless you go through the work, that's the only way you're going to get it. Other than that, you're 
you're like you're you have blinders there's a certain blinders to what this entails right just with like anything any other information out there if we are not open to understanding other things other truths other experiences then we remain blinded to it it'll never become part of our life or reality because we automatically block it because we're used to a certain belief system or conditioning and some people are comfortable there they don't want to know anything else and that's okay that's their their thing but not everybody's like that so you two for sure are not like that <laughs> You have an open mind. You're understanding things in, from a higher perspective. Um, you're getting downloads. You're opening the door to spirit because that's also the only way you're going to truly understand things is through spirit. Is through the, you know, allowing yourself to be guided by the unknown. Okay? Things you cannot see nor yet understand. But allowing the process to kind of guide you and take you through it so that you can get these epiphanies and insights and uh, downloads here love your shadow yeah that's what I was saying over here accept and work with the flaws in yourself so you can learn to accept others as they are and that's another thing when we learn and understand our own flaws and we take accountability for those things and act accordingly and appropriately we understand why others can act you know without um, self-control because we understand that okay this person has not gone through any healing or you know looked at themselves in the mirror or doesn't see things from a higher perspective this person just, you know, plays the victim and acts out of character. And they think everybody's supposed to love them just like that without them doing any work. And, yeah. Yeah, you can be loved, uh, you know, but most people that are doing the work are going to keep you at arm's length. Okay? Because they don't want to, you know, they've already experienced those types of people. They've already experienced, you know, who they were when they were, you know, unbalanced and once you're balanced, you don't want to be around someone that is unbalanced. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, open your eyes. I mean, I'm not saying you're going to block everybody that's unbalanced and in a low vibrational state. But you definitely will have different conversations. Um, they'll probably be a little shorter than usual. Because you know that they're not going to understand your perspective. And you understand where they're at because you were already there. And understanding where, where you ascended to. Mentally, spiritually. Um, so you know what I mean? You have a higher view, a higher perspective. So, yeah, you'll have a good time. And speak to them every now and then. You know, and be cordial, say hi. Uh, maybe even hang out a little bit, but um, you know connections do do change and shift, especially when you're evolving. So I don't know why I'm going in through all of that. I feel like that's what you guys have just been going through, both of you. So they may be going through this type of things in their life with people, with connections, with family. Um, you know, meeting a twin does really turn your whole world around <laughs> and as things are shifting and changing you know you're gonna feel a few towers in your life because everything inside of you is shifting and changing so everything that you know is a reflection of who you are within so everything around you is going to change that's why we have prosperity success purpose abundance health because essentially that's what you're doing for yourself. So good things start coming into your life. You're shifting your whole reality. You're you're okay, it's like the flower of life. Everything starts with consciousness. So what is within your consciousness, what you allow yourself to know is what's going to create your reality. 
and your connections to others. Just like the flower of life created the universe and the planets and the and the galaxies. You know what I mean? Everything is just a mirrored like expression of itself. And it all starts with consciousness. Absolutely. Okay. So open your eyes. If someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. Yeah, we start to see people around us for who they really are. Um, we've also, for a lot of twins, are empaths, obviously. And you've gone through a lot with narcissistic people or people that bullied you or people that casted you out for being different, right? You're the light worker, the star seed, the ones that break generational curses and heals generational traumas. And you're also an inspiration to others and you guide others in, you know, or, or provide a service for others that helps them become a better version of themselves or, you know, you, you apply your light within the darkness of the world, wherever that is. And, you know, you start noticing why you withdraw yourself from others and it's because of, of that. Okay, so when someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. And this is something that twins are understanding, of course. Or it doesn't have to be a twin, but people understand this as they grow, as they evolve. Okay, so something like that is happening for, I feel, this person coming towards you. Yeah, we have past lives. You have known this person before. It is a soulmate from a past lifetime yeah and we have difficulties jealousies from others may serve as obstacles to the success of this connection and that's another thing why this is here with open your eyes there may be people that you know that are noticing the changes within you and this person and when you guys come together you're going to see that people are going to really notice the high vibration you're in, the self-love, the self-worth, and how you love each other, and how connected you are, and that's going to make a few, you know, people a little bitter, okay, we're going to see the bitter Bettys out there, okay, and, 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 the, and some bitter men that also have felt rejected by you, or women that felt rejected by you, because they're in a lower vibration, and they're not doing the self-work. I'm talking about those people. Those are the ones that are going to be jealous. They're going to feel like you think you're all that. Why? Because you're doing... You decided to heal and do good for yourself because it's for the betterment of your own life. They have the tools to do the right. It's the same thing. But you're going to see people are going to be very jealous. Okay? It's hidden. So I don't know if anybody has told anybody about you or the other way around. But when that happens, you know, that's why it's important also to see people for who they are. That way they don't deceive you if they decide to lie about this person to make them look bad, right? Or you to make you look bad in this person's eyes so they don't go for you because they're sensing how magnetic, how powerful this co this connection really is. Okay, so it's important to be in your own power and to see things from a higher perspective so that you don't get um, sidetracked by, by someone's bad intentions or evil eye here and not go for something that was always meant to align with you here. Okay. Wow. Okay, so we do have some people, you know, not everybody understands the Twin Flame journey, um, you know, all the way, obviously. I mean, this is a, this is a journey, okay? And we're all, we're all meet twins at different stages of our life. We all grow at different stages of our life. And I think that's why I went into that, because some of you could be in the beginning stages of this. And you need more more understanding of what this entails and, you know, what you're about to go through. Um, so be patient with me with that. If you already know, 
you, you know, sometimes I have to break stuff down. Um, for those who are are just beginning their journeys of even self-love, self-worth, or awakening as well, okay? Because it might just bring in that twin if you are a light worker, a star seed, and you're meant to meet your twin. Um, for those of you who do have a twin, okay? All right. Let's see what else. Let's get some messages here. Let me get this. Probably gonna need some water because I feel like I just talked so much. <laughs> hey, when spirit wants me to talk about something, I just gotta go for it. One more. All right. person could have been running for a while um, from approaching you okay because this scared them because of the dreams they were having that's another thing runner chaser when when we're not in balance and we're not quite fully awakened or you know what I mean understanding of the connection one of them is gonna run and the other one might be a chaser. You're in the Empress energy. The Empress doesn't chase. She attracts. Okay? She or he. So, no need to worry about that because you've done the inner work. But what I'm getting is this could have been a long time coming. But somebody was running from telling you how they feel because this really does kind of scare them a little bit. Um, but they're understanding. They're in the process of ascension so and metamorphosis. So that's great. All right. Yeah, it's over. So I do feel like somebody could have went through a recent breakup with unspoken feelings due to other circumstances. Okay, so somebody could have went through a divorce or they went through a breakup. It says sometimes there is no next time, no second chances, the relationship is over, failure too late, opportunity is gone. Okay, because with Twin Flame in here, it says nothing has gone wrong, so... This is somebody that was in a relationship, whether this is you or them. Heart and key. It is safe for you to love. Yeah. Open to love. Perfect match. Meeting the one. Easy to love. Compliment each other. So there you go. With your love life as soon ascending to a higher level of, connect, of, connect, of commitment. So you are manifesting the one. Hard work. The hard work will be rewarded. Teamwork, dedication, fertility, success, sweet indulgence, achieving the impossible. Okay? All this transformation, all this dark night of the soul, all this ascension and, and self-work, self-love, and, you know, things that you do for others while you're in your purpose, all of this will pay off and be rewarded. Okay? So it says, keep, be optimistic. Keep in mind that you create your reality. You can't attract love with a negative mindset. And somebody here is state remaining positive. And with the chariot here and success here, um, this, there will be success in your lives and within a connection here. Love offer. Love will be reciprocated. Ready to give, honest offer, making it official, serious talk, building a secure foundation. Yeah, it's coming. Eight of Wands with the Three of Wands. In a, maybe in a distant horizon. Okay. This could be three to eight weeks, three to eight months. Okay. Because somebody's loving their shadow here. And going through, you know. Somebody's going to open themselves up to you. Even, even through the fear. Like feeling the fear, but doing it anyways. 
yeah somebody went through a challenging connection with the death card here with it's over okay lessons unhealthy pushing karmic relationship chaotic provoked unbalanced and fleeing yep okay so your twin or you was going through a karmic relationship and uh, learning a lesson now sometimes twins are the catalyst to awaken each other and um, sometimes you know and it'll be the runner chaser deal the triggers because of the uh, uh, unbalance within yourselves the push and pull um, so it's like attraction and then it's repelling because you know the feelings are like chaotic and all over the place <laughs> But sometimes you meet a karmic or or even a karmic soul tie that becomes your catalyst with these triggers and it's to mirror their shadow so they can finally heal it. Okay. Um and I feel like here like simultaneously you were like the inspiration, so you were part of their activation and the catalyst to activate this person, but at the same time they were in a very triggering karmic situation that was also the catalyst to heal that shadow aspect of themselves because they see themselves you know the karmic brings out the worst in them and you bring out the best in them so between that there's some sort of self inner balance and inner understanding that needs to take place and I feel like that's what happened here epiphany the answers will come revelation discovery vision realization inspiration insight enlightenment hint and guidance with heart and key it is safe for you to love so i feel like the empress here maybe you are secretly admiring this person you will have some sort of epiphany okay and spirit will be guiding you to make the effort i guess when this person presents themselves okay so don't allow the opportunity to pass you by, whether this is high-level soulmate or twin. I don't think you will, obviously. <laughs> um, but let's see what else. Aligned. Yeah. All this hard work. It ain't easy to, to align. Okay? Aligned with higher self. Harmony, balance, awareness, divine connection, inside soul expansion, and spiritual growth. And that's the hangman here. And uh, finally being able to move forward. I mean, we're always aligning and ascending. Okay. But um, enough to understand the process. And whenever it comes up, it doesn't, you know what I mean? It gets easier as we understand certain um, time frames and why we're going through certain things at certain specific times. When it comes to ascending and growing and evolving. Baby steps. Yeah. Wants to take things slow. Slow progress. Little wins. Small advances. Uh, starting small. No hurry. Dragging their feet. So that's what I was kind of getting here. Somebody wants to approach you in a way that you're not usually approached. They don't want to scare you away either. So... Um, so they do want to make you a love offer, but they may want to get to know you because they do have some fears here. Um, you know, they're hoping that this is not all a dream also, which is not, obviously. It's here on the table. Um, so, you know, they're inching their way in there, okay, with running here, resisting change right now avoiding not not now scared boundaries escaping rejecting not interested the cold shoulder with rise and fall yeah so this is what was going on and time to get off the ride and that's this connection here so they could have met you when they were in this connection but it was when maybe this connection was like in the honeymoon phase okay and um, this connection was really triggering this karmic situation and it was mirroring to them like what they weren't like wanting to heal um, an unexpected 
Yeah. And then all of a sudden you came out of nowhere. Okay. It says expect the unexpected, sudden, unpredictable, surprising, when least expected, accidental, unplanned, sw swift, and random. Okay. In the air, the situation still undecided. Yeah, it's like you came out of nowhere and they were like, whoa, I gotta run from this. Because <laughs> I'm already in this. And you were reflecting something back at this person that they would just, you made this person real nervous. They didn't know what hit them. This could have been love at first sight. Okay. And, you know, yeah, they were in unstable conditions at the time. They weren't healed. They weren't ascended. So this this has been a long time coming. Undecided and limbo and decisive. Go, yeah, ghosting. You know, kind of not paying attention to it. Because clearly they were already in something anyways. And we have bullseye. Nothing will get in the way. Focus, no distractions, set on you, goals, no games, serious intentions, and not giving up with secrets. Yeah, so see how they feel now? Keeping something secret. So they're waiting so nothing gets in the way. That's why they had to go through this. So they didn't want this to get in the way of this. In the meantime, they were also trying to understand why they were running and, and why they felt when I say running, it's not like they were running from you because they never approached you. They never told you how they felt. Not in this reading, okay? Um, it's, they were um, within themselves they were running. You know what I mean? They couldn't run from you because they weren't physically with you. So within themselves they were like, why? why am I running? Why am I like ghosting the situation that I'm not even in and it was something that was like just uncomfortable because they weren't healed yet but now that they're getting it they're learning they're awakening and they went through this breakup they're being they're able to reflect on the situation they were in they're able to reflect on who you are and why you even came out of the blue and why they felt like that when you came out of the blue. And they're watching. And they see that you are a true gem. Okay? And they don't want nothing to get in the way of this. They understand that you are their person. Okay? It might have took them a while. Yeah, they were confused. Weighing out the pros and cons. And we have feelings of full fiery sparks. Love at first sight. Taking off instant connection. Blown away intense feelings and recognition yeah they were analyzing exploring comparing unsure of their relationship contemplating okay dissecting uncertainty doubt hesitation hard to read questioning complex situation dilemma like this person was like who is this <laughs> why why do i feel this way love at first sight scared the shit out of them Especially when, you know, they were trying to work something out with whoever they were with. Yeah, we have risk. Love that involves great risk. Taking chances, leap of faith, playing with fire, a lot at stake, facing fears, gambling. It's a date. Wants to put in the effort. Okay, there could be something about winter. This, you know, Christmas, cuffing season, appointment, meeting, in person, dating. Rendezvous, courtship, getting to know each other. And I did say three to eight weeks or months. So this could be eight. eight. Which would make sense. It would make it around the holiday season. Eight months. It doesn't have to be. You, you, know, you don't have to pay attention to that. But, you know. Yeah, with timing. Okay, so there's definitely, obviously, divine timing. We have real love here. Feelings worth exploring. Needing time to feel a little secure. That's why they're going to take baby steps. Okay. They are a little scared. <laughs> but they know they ass fell in love. Alright. So let's get a few messages. Let me get this out of the way. Yeah. I'm so excited to get to know you. Okay. 
someone is coming out of left field. <laughs> uh huh. So they're yeah, they're coming out of left field too. Okay. You came out of left field for them a while ago. But they were already in something. And now they're getting ready to come out of left field when it comes to you. But they're gonna take it slow because they're they are fearful, especially of getting hurt. This person, they must have felt like some sort of shockwave go through their body when they met you. Whether they saw you online or in person, I don't know. So you take that out, resonates. Something happened. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what the hell is this? Everybody wants love till it smacks them in the face, right? Real love. I found you. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, I found you. I'm going to have a hard time keeping my hands to myself. Hey, this is sitting with the Empress here. <laughs> okay. Or they're just looking at you. Um, let's make it happen. Yeah. Being optimistic, hard work, forgive and release. Okay, with whatever, you know, people or triggers or whatever they got to do there in their own life. I'm noticing signs and synchronicities that are leading me to you, especially through the dream state. I'm telling you, this person's having past life regressions when it comes to, when it comes to you. In their dream state, spirit is letting them know a lot. They're getting messages in their dreams. You stimulate my mind, body, and soul. There you go. Um, and these are the signs. You see that they're like looking, definitely getting signs and synchronicities. Going towards you sooner than you think. Uh, with Let's make it happen. Okay, then obviously this person is feeling a lot more confident. They went through a breakup. They've been going through the ascension process. Um, so that's good. <laughs> So this is coming to you sooner than you think. Oh wait, this goes here. Okay. And ready for a commitment. Let's make it happen. Let's get one more. You woke me up to a higher perspective. Look at that. I told you, you were the amuse and inspiration to this person. And spirit also woke this person up to a higher perspective. Wow. You see? Unawaken to awaken higher perspective. Wow. <coughs> and no one else is going to do for this person now that they're awakened, now that they see this for what it is. Um, because you are their person. You're the empress. They're the emperor. This person wants a family with you. We saw the emperor with the ten of cups. And the queen, king and queen of wands. You embody everything. Everything this person wants. And they are an earth angel. Okay, with temperance right behind the lovers. They were divinely guided towards you. This person is going to be your protector. Ten of cups. Definitely. You've had a, pa you've had a family. You've been married to this person in other lifetimes. Okay. You blow this person's mind, man. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else here. Yeah, this is somebody that's going to stand up for you. Okay? When those haters, friends, start trying to create difficulties in your connection. Yeah. They're going to stand up for you. Okay. So they may notice if they tell anybody about this connection. That that's going to start happening. 
especially when they start introducing you to their friends, they're going to notice who, you know, who's really their friend and who's not. Uh, same with you. Okay, collective. They could have misjudged you while they were going through the fear. Okay, they did go through a moment of what the fuck. Okay. They could have thought it was just, yeah. They, they were with a karmic wishing to be with you. They didn't know what to make of this. Okay. They misjudged the situation. Maybe they thought it was lust, passion. They want to know more about you. Yeah. Yeah. You won't settle for less than you deserve. Of course not. An empress needs to be with an emperor. Nothing else will do. And they want to know more about you. And they know that you won't settle for less than you deserve. Yeah, this person is going to be protecting you from some sort of group. Um, exactly. When they weren't ascended, they were surrounded by people that are not right for them. Okay? Friendships that are toxic, you know what I mean? As well as you before you aligned, you know, there were maybe certain people around you that weren't good for you. And that's what I went into the whole boundary thing and... You know, there are certain people that you may be cordial with, but it's never going to be the same. That's what's happening in your life. And this person is definitely going to protect you, stand up for you. And as they continue to uncover who's their friend and who's not, your inner beauty is really shining through. Or your inner handsomeness. Okay, you're going to have multiple love offers, of course. So you have other secret admirers. Positive thinking is helping you manifest what you desire with the magician here. And staying optimistic. Right? Yeah. You are a miracle in my life. They see that now. You are the gem. You are the one. Yeah. You will marry this one. They see marriage with you, definitely. And yeah, there's no more second chances for a karmic that they were with. Okay, they get it. This person has ascended. They get it. They got off the ride, the karmic ride. It was not a fantastic voyage. <laughs> yeah, they're setting boundaries. Good. And again... Protecting you from anyone that has an issue with this. So if they've told anybody about what they feel this connection is, they got some haters around them. Yeah, dating offers approaching. Okay. Offers. So you do have a few people that will be asking you out. Surprises and blessings are coming. Yeah. You're going to be taken by surprise. And this masculine does want to have children with you. That's for some of you, whoever resonates with that. Not for everybody. Yeah, I felt something I can't explain when I saw you. They got butterflies. They got scared. Okay, you're going to take the world by storm together. Yeah. Okay. This person could have felt like they weren't up to par, like you would reject them. Okay? That could have been a fear. But they were in something else anyways. That could still be a fear. Okay? And they do want to be more than friends. Okay? You remind them of what, what is good in life. Whoever they were with was not worth their time. All right. Um, let 
Let's get some messages here. What they want to say. These cards have names, so I will, you know, I will say the name. If it resonates, it resonates, but you don't have to take it. So it says Monica here. I regret introducing you to my friend. Okay, there could be a friend of theirs that now has a crush on you, and they know it. Okay, whether they introduced you or they showed them your picture or something like that. And now they regret it. And it could just be they spoke to a friend and that's the person giving them a hard time when it comes to this connection. That's an enemy of theirs. That's not a friend. Uh, what else here? Yeah, they'd love to get to know you better. Arthur, that's two cards with I can't wait to get to know you here. Wherever that was. So this is somebody you haven't had a chance to really get to know. What else? Okay, we got two cards. Ange Anjali or Anjali? Anjali? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think about me? So they want to know. Do you think about them? Oh, they want to cook for you. We have Iana. What's your favorite food? I'd love to cook for you. Okay. Anything else? Tell me what you want with me, Teresa. Yeah, Axel. Whether it's every time you meet or every time they see you, their heart skips a beat, okay? This person's going to be so nervous when they come to you. Willa, please send me a picture. So they want a picture of you. One more. Zane, our talks are all I think about. I feel like this is future talks. Yeah, I can't picture my life without you. Nate. Hey stranger, where did you go, Pablo? And no rush will go at your pace, Marina. So you may have been like out of touch, obviously for a while, or or like wherever they're used to seeing you, you haven't been. Whether it's online, whether it's at work, or wherever you frequent, you know whatever this is, okay. And Ulysses, I'm waiting for you to make the first move. And that's got to be you because you're the Empress and the Empress does not chase. Okay. All right. Collective. That is what I got. Um, yeah. Just know that this person is going to protect you from anybody that has anything to say about this. Um, they regret introducing you or showing somebody who you were or even talking about the potential of this being a twin, um, they got a hater around them. And it's probably because that person it could be attracted to you, I'm not sure, or they just started talking shit because they can't have you, okay, because you're not made for them. I'm telling you, people are going to say what they're going to say, especially they're going to try to um, say that this, is a, this ain't real, this is fake, and or she ain't no empress, or he ain't no emperor, you know. This ain't your lo the love of your life. This is all uh, illusion, you know, it, whatever. <laughs> it, the proof is right there. Okay? It's coming together. Spirit's bringing it in. And they're finally, you know, I just saw 114.44. So, 144, you already know. Okay? So, you obviously, you're one of the 144,000 twins. Cosmic beings.
I'm telling you, something happened here between aliens and Egyptians. And I feel there was a reincarnation of cosmic beings through the connection of Egyptians, you know, in, in Egypt times, in the uh, pyramid, in Cairo. Um, and I feel like that's where twins, I mean, twins come from, not just the earth, but you know what I mean, but like reincarnated into a humanity. But you are cosmic beings from another planet, starseeds. Starseeds are from other planets, Arcturians, Palladians, you know, Andro Andromedans, um, which are the rare star seeds, and some happened. Some DNA stuff was happening. Some genetically modified things were happening um, between that location and uh, extraterrestrials. But anyway, um, I haven't done the cosmic view thing because I, I haven't been felt uh, drawn to do it. Okay, so whenever I get that feeling again, I'll, I'll do another one. That just made me think of that. So, um, yeah. All right, Collective. Um, that's what I have. Let me know in the comments if anybody resonates. I wish you the best. I hope this resonates for you, and I hope that it brought you some sort of clarity. Okay, and thank you for being patient with me through the whole explanation of a lot of you know, of things that a lot of you already know. Just know that some people are in the beginning stages. So, um, all right. So, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Peace.